The Joker's Masterful Disguise in the Dark Knight When it comes to stealth and deception, the Joker in the Dark Knight is basically a virtuoso. Think about the honor guard scene for a moment. Yes, his facial scars are distinctive, but consider the context in which he's hiding. Imagine being at a large, solemn ceremony. Your focus is pulled in. There's a certain reverence in the air. We're not actively scanning every face, hunting down a possible criminal. We're there to pay our respects. The Joker, understanding the psychology of crowds and how attention works, uses that to his advantage. The makeup, or rather the lack of it, serves as a perfect inverse to his usual mask. It's the last thing you'd expect. A little hair dye, a change of clothes, and keeping his head down. Suddenly, he's just another face in the crowd. Don't forget the scars. We tend to overly rely on spotting familiar patterns, like face paint, to recognize someone. Without the white makeup, green hair, and red lips, those same scars that define him just become part of the background noise, especially under the ceremonial caps the honor guard wore. It's like having a distinctive feature that's usually highlighted by a bright light, but is now in the shadows. Your eyes skim right over it. As for the honor guard themselves, they're probably not intimately familiar with every member, and in high-stress, heavily protocol-driven events, individuals tend to focus more on their roles rather than the faces of their peers. Lastly, everyone else is looking for the Joker in makeup, not a scrubbed face version that blends into his surroundings. It's a complete subversion of expectations, and that's quintessential Joker. So, it's less about how he avoided detection, and more about how everyone else was never really looking for who they actually needed to find. It highlights a larger theme in the movie. Under the right circumstances, anyone can overlook the obvious. And let's face it, in the real world, throwing on some makeup or a simple disguise works remarkably well for blending in, even in Portland, Oregon. Ever notice how a baseball cap and some sunglasses can render someone almost unrecognizable? It's all about context and expectations. The Joker just happened to know how to play the game better than anyone else.